Welcome to the Ohio Department of Education Office of Career Tech Concentrator and Completion Definitions. Hello, my name is Robert Kornack and I am an Assistant Director in the Office of Career Tech. I supervise the trade and industrial career fields that include construction and transportation, engineering and manufacturing, health and human services, law and public safety, information technology, and arts and communications. I am also the board president of SkillsUSA Ohio and the lead for data and accountability team. In our discussion, we will cover the following topics. Data and accountability resources, concentrator definition, and the completion definition. Information on the new and updated accountability policies resulting from the Perkins 5 legislation can be found on the Office of Career Tech's homepage under the Compliance, Funding, and Accountability section. To assist districts in understanding these new and updated Perkins 5 accountability policies, the Office of Career Tech developed the Career Technical Education Data and Accountability Guidebook. This guidebook can be found on the Data and Accountability webpage. The purpose of the document is to provide information on the definitions, state determined performance level indicators, and work based learning guidance. The document also serves to ensure that changes from Perkins 4 to Perkins 5 are clearly articulated and all relevant stakeholders have the necessary information for implementations of Perkins 5 data and accountability metrics. For more information on work-based learning and other topics, please review the Office of Career Tech's webpage for additional resources. One of the significant changes with the Perkins 5 legislation is the definition of a concentrator. Perkins 5 defines career technical education concentrator in the law as a, at the secondary school level, a student served by an eligible recipient who has completed at least two courses in a single approved career technical education program or program of study. With this introduction of Perkins 5 concentrator definition, Ohio was tasked with determining what it means for a student to have completed a course. Through internal and external stakeholder groups, data simulations, and careful analysis, the Office of Career Tech developed the following completion definition. For a student to have completed a course, the student must have enrolled for at least 90% of the scheduled hours and or earn full or partial credit in a state approved career technical education workforce development course. Please note that student absences do not count in the percent calculation. Also, a student is deemed to have completed the course if they were enrolled for at least 90% of the scheduled hours and did not receive full or partial credit. These definitions will change the way concentrators are identified and districts may see an increase in the number of concentrators being reported to EMIS. To assist districts in determining concentrator status, the Office of Career Tech developed the Concentrator Reporting Examples Matrix. Please consult this matrix found on the Data and Accountability webpage for assistance in determining concentrator status. For assistance in understanding how to use this matrix, Please review the Office of Career Tech's webpage for additional resources. This concludes our data and accountability concentrator and completion definition overview. Please visit our data and accountability webpage for additional information or contact me at robert.cornack at education.ohio.gov.